first of all would be one that respects relationships, nurtures them, watches for them, helps them to grow, contributes to them. Leadership to me is service. We are in the service of others. And where nurses are concerned, it's the service for patients and families and the teams that we work with. A leader is defined by the quality of their actions, but also by the integrity of their intent. A leader needs to have a very strong vision, a vision of where you want to be as a person and where you see the system going and where you think you need to lead people within that. I think a great leader also leads where they land. So wherever you are, to ask yourself, where is my leadership opportunity within this particular situation? The relentless focus on results on behalf of those that we serve. One of my most prized uh, possessions is a plaque that I have on my wall. And it was given to me by my husband for, at Christmas one year. And what it is are quotes that Paul Tellier made. Paul Tellier is a very famous Canadian. And he was giving a lecture on leadership. And this is what he wrote about leadership. Be resilient. Do not take anything personally. Be resistant. The representatives of the stakeholders change more frequently than you do. Be determined. At the end of the day, most stakeholders will back down in the face of constant determination. Be focused. Do not get distracted by the chaos surrounding you. And remain driven. It's scary to stakeholders. Passion is not something most of them either understand or possess. A leader needs to have a sense of humor. You need to be able to laugh at yourself and bring other people into that. People need to know that you're a human and that everybody has that leadership quality in them. <laughs> I could laugh a lot. <laughs>
and she communicated every single finding and every single result to the family. So to me, that was true leadership in action. She assumed accountability, she assumed responsibility, and she displayed true transparency. And to me, that's leadership. My own leadership journey has been driven by a quest for learning, seeking out evidence and securing results. I'm wired that way. My leadership journey has spanned more than three decades and in my opinion is not over. I am still learning to be a leader, learning to hone my leadership and my leadership skills and I got to say that fundamentally I'm a student of leadership. I'm the oldest of six children and I think right from the get-go was expected to lead and to, to be responsible and to, um, and to do what, what it took to, to get through. I think to become a leader, you need to get the experience to give yourself the confidence to step outside of yourself and to step into those risk-taking kind of roles. But at the heart of it, I want to make sure that my values, my personality, match my leadership style so I'm not attempting or striving to be someone or something. I'm not. Well, successful leadership looks like three things. First of all, a leader has to have a plan. Secondly, the leader needs to be able to communicate the plan. And thirdly, the leader needs to be able to work with every member of the team because everyone has an equal and shared responsibility and participation in terms of making that plan come to reality. In community health nursing, we do nothing alone. So successful leadership for me means the building of effective, uh, and authentic partnerships and relationships. And in my career, there's probably five really significant uh, sort of successes or outcomes that I was part of, and probably nobody would remember that I was there because uh, often our leadership in uh, community health nursing is uh, sort of from behind or working in the cracks or supporting others to step up and to step into um, leadership. It's very important to me that we measure our success by the aspirations of those that we serve. So when you think of aspirations of patients across the healthcare system, it's very simple. Patients desire three things, keep me safe, don't harm me, heal me, and be nice to me. So in my organization, when I am successful in aligning the team in the achievement of those three aspirations of the people that we serve, that signals great success to me. I think a successful leader, though, on another tack, also has people around them. People feel supported. You have a positive synergy. People feel OK to take a risk because it's a way of learning and know they're going to be supported in that. And I think that's what a sign of success is. A really important uh, aspect of successful leadership today is to use the lever of policy and to actually influence uh, policy development, to influence the processes that see policy development, because if we are going to make change in the health status of the people uh, in our country, then we do need to use that lever of policy. And that will require strong and steady and collaborative leadership. Leadership doesn't leave scorched earth behind. It takes people on a cooperative journey that's guided by the common sense for the common good. And most of all, leadership is an adventure that shouldn't be missed. It's a balance of knowing the here and now and also having a clear common vision for the future. And a leader has the ability to get from here to there and to take people with them. So being part of a volunteer board that is leading a national organization, is setting standards and leading the way for community health nurses across Canada, has taught me and I think the others, uh, many others of us a whole new way of leading. When you have to do things virtually through conference calls, webinars, 
through engaging people in a whole different way than what we're used to. It teaches you a whole new form of leadership. People often don't see your face. And for someone like me who's quite expressive, usually anyways, it's, 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 difficult. it's a difficult way to learn and to only be able to see people or hear their voice is a whole different way of leading. And when you can get people to buy into that, I think that's a sign of success. So far we've been successful in that and I think we will continue to be.